bring in Glenn Curl now, who joins me from Boston. He's a national security and foreign policy expert. Thanks very much indeed for taking the time to be with us today. So in your view, are the protesters we saw yesterday gen genuinely people who are disaffected or are they dangerous extremists? Well, the two characterizations are not mutually exclusive. Uh, the preceding speaker made the uh, important point that there are over 70 million Americans who voted for Donald Trump. Now, the reasons are multiple, but many of them are disaffected about uh, a host of social and political problems and increasing political sclerosis over uh, decades in the United States. Concentration of wealth, um, loss of economic opportunity, um, increasing uh, health care uh, crisis and uh, cost of education and on and on and on. Uh, but I think the largest crisis and problem for American society and our political system going forward is that the reason most of these people, or at least a large, large number, voted for Trump is because truly, this is a serious uh, observation, we are uh, victims of uh, collective and mass uh, delusion. Uh, sociologists and psychologists have shown that if one repeats a lie enough, people will believe it. And even if one hears a lie and knows it is it a lie, it changes the way you perceive reality. And uh, Americans have been subjected to not just five years of this from Donald Trump, but decades of this now from Fox News and frankly the Republican Party, which has said it supports democracy, but has for decades acted to disenfranchise those who do not look like me. And that is the crisis, is that people are sincere, but they um, have now come to believe in false gods, frankly. So it seems then that a moment of clarity has come. Do you wonder why it hasn't come earlier? Well, I'm not, I'm not as optimistic that a moment of clarity has come. Um, I would have changed the uh, analogy or the metaphor. Uh, the, the Republicans who now seem to be distancing themselves from Trump are only doing so as their heads slip under the water from, this, from the ship that has foundered. Uh, they aren't doing this out of principle, many of them. Uh, they've all known the truth. There are uh, few politicians who have been deluded about the facts that the election was decided uh, clearly it was a victory for Biden that uh, saying the neutral and supportive things for racists and members of the KKK uh, is anything but grotesquely racist and on and on. Uh, so uh, I'm skeptical that they have found religion here uh, just before being buried. So what needs to change to stop something like this happening again? Well, this is the great challenge is, uh, again, psychologists have shown that if you're in an argument, and we all should know this, but none of us can, can manage to control ourselves. If you're in an argument, have you ever convinced the person you're arguing with of the merits of your discussion? I, I think the answer is no. People are not convinced by facts or being by challenged on their convictions. So the way you address this is a slow process of changing the perceptions of what is the norm and what is uh, what are the reference points of people's thinking. So you don't say, you, Jane, are wrong. What you say is, here's how things look, and that the person will then challenge that. But there are now different perceptions for people to weigh, and slowly that can then change people's attitudes. This is why uh, there's an old statement if, when you study economics, which is that uh, economic theory progresses funeral by funeral, meaning that no one ever changes their mind. But as people die off, there are new ideas that can then be more broadly accepted by a, a less committed uh, or partisan um, follower successor. That's so Biden has a, a job, all of us do, to uh, counter, frankly, the lies and distortions of reality that Fox News and Donald Trump have made reality. Okay, Glenn Carl, really good to get your thoughts on that today. Thank you for joining us.